Hello everyone, CO Cannon here of Fiction Atlas Author Services. It's Website Wednesday again. Every Wednesday, I'll be giving you tips on how to improve your author web presence. I've talked to you before about the importance of having an author website and a social media presence. Both are vital to your success as a modern author. What I don't think I've covered is when you should start to develop these platforms. The answer? Yesterday. The sooner the better. The more time you have to capture leads to your mailing list and to get your name stuck in the back, or hopefully the forefront of your readers' minds, the better off you will be. But what if you don't have any content? The joy of the internet is that there are always plenty of ways to engage and connect with others. There are countless memes to post, Pinterest boards full of blog topics, and author support forums and groups filled with other aspiring and published writers you can interview and learn from while also providing content for your followers. But how do you manage social media posts, an author website, and writing? It's not easy. The best way to tackle this problem is to schedule at least part of your posts ahead of time. Take one day a week or even one day a month to plan out your posts. You can place these all in one Microsoft Word file, or you can even go ahead and schedule them with an app like Hootsuite, Jetpack, Meet Edgar, or Facebook's built-in post scheduler. But how do you remember to schedule your scheduler? Okay, so now you sound like me. I am a very organized person, but that organization probably looks like chaos to other people. One way that I have found to keep on top of everything I should be doing each day is to use a calendar. I personally use TeamUp to schedule and color code every takeover event I'm doing with a date, time, and URL. Every author I'm interviewing gets placed on the schedule on both the day I'm recording with them and the day their episode will air. Every weekly video tutorial topic, like this one, is planned out for at least the next four weeks. Every word for a thesaurus Thursday is picked for at least the next month or so. I do try to be spontaneous on Mondays, and I just Google a writing meme to post. I also have my release date plan ahead and my countdown promos for my book scheduled. When it gets a little closer to time, I will be able to add in blog tours and newsletter swaps so that I can track the performance of each of those services easily. You can also use Google Calendar or any other type of personal or online monthly planner that works best for you. Now you don't have to get this detailed or do all of the things that I do. Every author is different and we all have our own personalities and comfort levels. Social media can help you develop a following if you participate in using it regularly and efficiently. Well, what if you don't know what to post on social media? One approach that is helpful is to have repetitive topics. For example, you could cover editing tips every Tuesday, do author interviews every Thursday, and funny posts every Saturday. Whatever days you choose to do these things, your audience will eventually pick up on your posting habits and begin to look for that particular topic of information that day. This gives your audience something to look forward to and a reason to visit your page more than one time. Social media is a way to get your personality out there. Readers like to connect with authors and learn about their lives, their writing process, and even be included in that process. A great way to do all of those things is to start a street team or a launch team. These are your cheerleaders. These people are interested in your book or books and they want to tell the world about it. These are the people you're going to want to give beta or art copies to. These are the readers who will be leaving you reviews on your launch day and posting teasers, Amazon links, book trailers, and telling all their friends to give your book a chance. Now, you can give them a snazzy name, or you can just call them your street or launch team if you don't want to get too creative. Mine are called Unforgettables, because my biggest story is Forget Me Not. You can come up with a name yourself, or let them choose, but regardless of names, be nice to these people, because they are going to help you have a successful launch much easier than if you were to try it all on your own. I give my street team first looks at passages from the book. I will debut my covers there before anywhere else. I will pull my beta readers from there first and hand out arcs to them first. They are my VIPs. I haven't released my book yet, but I'm already building this team. 
I think a lot of authors feel like they can't do this because they aren't published yet or they haven't published a full novel yet like me. But I can tell you that is absolutely not true. I am nearing 100 members in my street team and I love the fact that I already have support. It's a great feeling and I think it makes me even more determined to do my very best. So what are you waiting for? If you haven't started an author website or developed a social media presence, there's no time like today. I think I will close this video with an answer I left on my Goodreads profile that adds to give advice to inspiring authors. I of course said to read every day and write every day, but the most important thing for a self-published or small press author to do is in the last bit. Start marketing immediately, even if you have nothing much written down yet. The push that you will get from social media and potential fans will give you more to work toward and a goal to attain. You will be held accountable. Your profile says you're an author, so be one. Well, that's all for this Wednesday. If you have a topic you would like me to talk about, you can send me an email with the subject Website Wednesday to info at fiction-atlas.com. As always, if you have any questions or comments about today's topic, you can leave those in the comments, PM me, or email me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to join me next week as I start part one of a three-week lesson on the different types of social media and how you can utilize them as an author.